when the default is capitalism, you get a lot of extractive methodologies of being applied without much thinking, simply because this is the way that we've done it just now. We are all part of a, a system that we all inter we interact with and that we impact upon. The one worldview is not just um, threatening diversity, it is also, also threatening sustainability and regeneration. We assume we understand the issues we're working with preemptively. As I was saying in the beginning, these issues are really complex and that complexity needs to be appreciated. They've become very individualized and very separate. And so what I feel, what I feel called to do in my life and what I feel like we need as a species is to come back into that connection. And for myself, I feel like it's a sense of remembrance that we are part of the sacred web of life. A farmer is not really in the high ranking professions. You know, if you tell someone a farmer, then it's not really like, oh, that's really sexy. And uh, we think that's that's wrong. Kenya is still grappling with um, the pandemic. So COVID is still a crisis right now. And actually we just opened our uh, movements uh, after um, several rounds of curfews and lockdowns. And, and this is, um, the, the COVID situation has obviously like rendered most people um, homeless because they can't pay they can't pay bills. Most have been uh, returned from work because companies can't sustain them. We have a public schooling system that obviously is struggling in in, in all ways possible from resources, um, properly trained teachers, and so on. You you walk into an average um, high school in in this country, and you can see the anger that exists in our young people. There's violence. They are stabbing each other. There's teenage pregnancy. I felt like I was useless. What I what I did couldn't change anything all the time. So I cannot see how if, if you cut a, a forest, the only accountability that you have it is on the money that you have to pay to the people, the fuel that you put into the machine, and, mm -hmm. and the transportation expenses somehow. If you study agriculture in Europe, you do not learn about regenerative agriculture. You do not learn about the possibility of not plowing. It's already revolutionary if they would tell you that you can't use pesticides. So when you're thinking systems, I was also envisioning this idea of, is, is the planet a system? Mm -hmm. Yes or no? And then if it, has, if it is a system, then why we are not studying it as a system? But there's all of these narratives, all of these stories that are so similar across the global south that we actually don't realize and we almost take for granted that, oh, it's, it's just us. This is a problem just because we are like this. When in reality, it's a systemic problem and the system comes from global hegemony. So how to really connect this crisis and uh, not to think of the ecological crisis as something individualistic that people can really have uh, their spaceship and run from. One of the things that I think is actually a really beautiful gift or a hidden um, silver lining to COVID is that I think it's helped a lot of people connect more deeply with nature. I think I think my whole thing is a world where we are at peace with one another, there are no crises anymore and, and people are more kind, more generous, more loving and you know, like putting nature at the center of development and at the center of every kind of um, engagements we are deliberating upon. It's images like that to me that sit at the back of my head and I say, imagine, imagine with all the mental health problems we are facing now, where young people just want to be held, young people just want to be embraced and told, you are okay, you are enough, and I'm here for you. Imagine that. If we just want to keep continuing to consume more and more and more and keep building new things and building dams and building wind farms and the like, we are not redefining the way we live enough to actually allow our fellow beings on this planet to live a good life too. So it is our responsibility, uh, is it, it is each of us a responsibility to inquire about our own place within um, 
the colonial system that we created. And it is really only by decolonizing the world that we will um, make it regenerative and sustainable for everybody. That will not take a generation. We're not talking about change within our lifetime even. No, we're talking about undoing millennia of a sort of human development that um, it's just inadequate now. You need to break with traditional systems, which is a very hard step to do. Because if we don't dream, we, we can't be responsible for anything.